Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is my reading for my fire signs. So if you're a Leo, Sagittarius, this reading is for you. Today is August the 14th, 2019. With that being said, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you here. <clears throat> Y'all gotta excuse me. I was just drinking some soda and that bitch went down my windpipe. Ooh, that shit hurt. But anyway... <clears throat> Let's get into your reading for today, you guys. Okay, so you have the Emperor card. This is the Aries card, and it also says that you're going to be standing your ground. In regard, you, you should be standing your ground in regard to some things that are going on in your life, and you're needing balance in your life as well. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here too. I do see here you're going to be walking away from a situation, person, or thing. You got to walk away from people who no, don't serve you no good. Um, they can, can't go on with you to your next level because they're not on the same level that you are. If that causes you any kind of confusion or headaches and all that other shit, you don't have to put up with that drama. Let that shit go and go into your better life because life too short for that bullshit. You have the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups talks about new beginnings, new love, new opportunities, doors of up opportunity open up for you. And also you have the Star card. So this is your destiny. What are your wishes? What are your dreams? Are your your dreams and wishes being fulfilled here? It's what and like I said, the star card is a wish card, and I said that you're receiving help from up above. You have the death card, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio here. So this is endings, but new beginnings. You like you're metamorphosing, you're changing things that you stood for once before. You're not gonna do that anymore. You dealt with some bullshit once before. You're not doing any of that anymore. You're changing. You see how. You see how this, this, what that is, a damn caterpillar, y'all? <laughs> caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. That means it's metamorph, so it, it done been through a lot of changes. Shit that you dealt when you was younger, you ain't dealing with that bullshit no more. You know what I'm saying? And you're just changing, and it's good sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And um, let's go on to the next card because <clears throat> there's a partnership here that's definitely wearing on your mind here. It could be a work partnership. It also could be a love partnership. The strength card is this is a Leo card. So you could be dealing with the Leo, but it's telling you that you need to stand in your strength in regard to some things that are going on. Be careful because I see someone is definitely wearing a mask here. The Nine of Cups is the wish card. It's wish fulfillment. So anything you're hoping and wishing for at this time could definitely come to fruition. And somebody's definitely trying to pay judgment on somebody. Damn, I was getting the shit out of me. <laughs> Can somebody shoot in this bitch or what? Anyway, um, there's a water sign, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces here that's going to be showing up to offer you a cup of love. You also have a new beginning. So it's like you had a crossroads to think of life. You got many decisions that you have to make. Some kind of decision will be hard to make. So what you need to do is get by yourself. Or maybe put pen to paper and just sit down and analyze what's best for you. That's what I would say. Think about what's best for you and yours at the time. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you put you first. The Ace of Swords tell me that you've definitely been thinking a whole lot. Got a lot of thoughts swirling around in your mind. You're trying to figure shit out. Things of that sort. You just really want the happy home life and things of that sort. And then you have... Devils in the mix, there's a whole lot of drama. It could be somebody could be drinking too much, drugging too much. You could be dealing with a toxic situation. And every time I see this card, it's something about be careful with the mirrors in your house because you know mirrors are portals. Also, um you could have a stalker, or you just could have somebody who's just very much obsessed over you. Okay. Next card that came up for you here, Fire Signs, is the Empress card. So, the Empress card talks about birthing on new exciting things and someone could definitely be pregnant. Birthing on new exciting things could be a baby, but it also could be like starting a new business and things of that sort as well. I see you working extremely hard and it's definitely going to pay off for you with the Three of Pentacles. You also have an Earth sign that's coming in, that's coming in with help, that's going to help you. This is two people that's coming in to help you. And then you have the Queen of Wands. Now, you could be dealing with another fire sign. Or this could be you just passionate about whatever that's going on in your life. Because now it could be a very creative time for you with this Ace of Wands. It talks about creativity. And then to top it off, you have the Magician card. So you could be manifesting some good things to come into your life as well. Um, 
you have all the tools you need in order to do so. There's a love of relationship that's definitely showing up here. If the new love is coming in or rising or you met somebody or you're going to meet somebody, I see movement taking place within your life with the chariot card. I'm sorry about the glare, you guys, but I'm sitting right under the lamp. You have the hermit card and the hermit card. I'm trying to keep that glare off for y'all. The hermit card talks about you isolating yourself to think about people, places, and things to come up with the answers you need. Somebody that took somebody as to heal them back here. This is thoughts. You've been in your thoughts a whole lot about something, and you're just tired of with the bullshit. So this is an ending card, which is good. With endings come new beginning. I see you're going to get justice in regard to something. You could be dealing with a court case that could be coming up, and things of that sort. I'm not going to say it's not going to be a fight, because it will be a fight. But don't give up, okay? You definitely, you see how this woman is, she's tied to this tree. So somebody's tied to a tree. somebody got a whole lot of dead weight with them. And y'all need to release that. Let that shit go. Ain't a sister dragging around that bullshit. Let it go. See, you're moving on. You're going to be moving on to better waters. You see the rainbow? The beautiful waterfall? Shit. Moving away from that in order to get your mind right. The moon card tells me that you're going to receive clarity in regard to things that are going on in your life. Um, no more lies, deception, and deceit. It is what it is. Somebody's going to be coming in, coming in fast because they want to communicate with you. You also have the hangman. So saying that somebody's stuck, needs to make a decision, they're not moving forward or backwards, whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with. Because Tara is about you or somebody you, in your immediate circle that you're dealing with. They can't seem to make up their mind in regard to something, but you have to try to step out your eye yourself to try to look at things from a different perspective. You have to try to try to walk a mile in somebody else's shoes in order to get the answers you need in regard to some things. See, somebody's definitely trapped. I don't know exactly what to do with this nine of swords. Like, what the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? There's um, competition that's going on with this five of wands whole lot of competition going on and then i see you planting seeds maybe if i put it over this way some your plant seeds are definitely going to grow for you and you're also defending yourself against others with this seven of wands okay Whatever you've been waiting for to come in, it's going to come in. Your ships is coming in on the horizon. You're standing on, you're going to be standing on solid ground. You're solid, you know, and that's great. Because you didn't draw the line of sand with somebody in regard to something. You're saying, fuck it, I'm not putting up with your bullshit no more. It is what the fuck it is. Deal with it or don't, but that's on you. I know what I'm going to do. And um, you have the sun card here. And the sun card is the Leo card once again. But it talks about you wanting to be happy and things like that. Being content with fulfillment. Because I see that you're sucking out of one thing going to another. Well, my lovely fire signs, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, I'm supposed to be a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so silly guys anyway um please like subscribe comment to my channel remember try to smile because sometimes you know your smile might be the only smile somebody see within a day that being said talk to you later